Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and today I have a pretty interesting topic. Now, before I get into this video, I do have to warn you, we're about to cover a topic that could include some pretty adult content. So if, again, look, I already made it clear my channel is not for children, but just in case, if you're somebody whom, let's say, is under the age of 13, please, please, please click off this video. I am sorry, but there is content in this video that is just not for you, okay? I am sorry, but please... Please click off the video or at the very least, make sure you have somebody who is at the very least above the age of 17 watching this with you to, to help you understand exactly what's going on. Okay, so with that being said, and before we get into this article, I do have to remind you, and I'm sorry that I keep doing this, but the way they, the way they designed the algorithm, I have to say this. If you like my content, if you really want to support my content, please, please, please click on that subscribe button. It's really going to help support the channel and like and share the video. It'll help teach the algorithm that you like videos that are made by independent content creators like myself, not these uh, big corporations that they have chosen to support for some unknown reason. Okay, and also subscribe that button, hit the subscribe button, help me get to a thousand subs. Okay, help me get to a thousand subs so I can monetize my content and then I can get that money and put it back into the channel so you can get some better more high quality entertainment so with that being said let's get to the uh, the article so Sentai Filmworks scriptwriter Holly Sagara explains why the two love root dub was changed to include misogyny of course I mean this is oh god this is insane this is insane I and mean, look this the, the reason why I'm even making this video is because this includes them a company doing something which I highly am highly highly against which is changing changes from the original source material. I just, I don't like it when changes are made to the original source material. Yes, I get that there are exceptions, but generally I just do not like any changes made to the source material. I am sorry, but I just don't. That's just me. You, you could be different, but that's that, that's that's me. Since I filmed with scriptwriter Holly Sagara responded to the backlash after she changed the script of the two love root dub to directly reference misogyny. And it is especially worse when you change the source material just to include your own, just to push your own personal agenda. God. Sagara defended the changes on the basis of making the script seem natural while also promising that she has no hidden agendas. BS. I call BS on this. I call BS. On March 7, Sagara addressed upset fans on her personal Twitter account, noting that while she is aware of the mounting complaints, there are some difficulties in dubbing you may not be aware of. Oh, I'm pretty sure we're aware of them. We just know that the reasons you're about to give us are absolute BS. I wanted to put this out there because I know folks are mad at me, and honestly, I hate making anyone mad. Then don't. But there's some difficulties in dubbing you may not be aware of that can affect choices such as syllable count, animation, mouth flaps, and rhythm. Again, we know all of this. And this is just one out of three. This is the second part. Ideally, we keep it as close to the original translation as we can, but dubs just aren't that simple. They have to flow and work with the animation. For you purists out there, subs are definitely for you, and I personally like both depending on the show. Concluding her response, Sagara Cigar states that there is no one-to-one -one trade when it comes to translation, but she did promise that despite the controversial edit, replacing the neutral phrase old-fashioned with the unfortunately politically charged misogyny, no hidden agendas uh -huh, influenced the tool of reproduction. And this is, I think, the third part. My job as an ADR writer is to make things sound natural and avoid sounding too stiff. There's no one-to-one -one trade when it comes to translation. It involves a lot of puzzle solving and spending tons of time with the material. I put a lot of love in my work. I promise no hidden agendas. Uh huh. Now, before we get, get continue with some of the, uh, the responses that she's been getting, let me just say this. I get that when you translate something from one language to another, there are going to be some mistranslations. I get that, and I understand that. I do. However... This is just not one of those cases. And some some of the responses here are even going to point that, point that out. Let's just get to it. However, some fans were unsatisfied with Sagara's defense and continued to criticize the change script on the basis of the, of the use of the word misogyny due to the word's contemporary political connotations. This is coming from Luigi the Metal 64. We don't care if they don't match the mouth movement or sound weird. That is perfectly normal for people of another language. They can be introduced with something that is foreign and they can get used to it. Translating is important for communicating. And this is from 
Alida, I guess. As a translator myself, there had been there had to have been a way to not put implied meaning Im implied implied? Okay, implied meaning of gender discrimination into the script and still match the lips. For example, she gives the example, get with the times, you're so behind the times, etc. etc. Both of these are both of these are basically saying the exact same thing, even though they're worded differently. Which is why I said there is probably something similar. Old-fashioned and misogynistic are very different words. This is very true. The second does push an agenda, which people are right to be annoyed about. When dubbing, you have to adapt, but completely changing the implied meaning is a no. I'm guessing there's, there's more. But anyway. Um, your choice of words was to use a politically charged one that, had, that has been thrown around to devalue individuals that disagree with a specific political agenda in order to make them into some sort of subhuman. These days, wanting to have the AC on can make you an evil misogynist. That is true. Let's complain. This comes from Let's Complain. Yes, because ruining Japanese creators' work for localization by blatantly changing dialogue in a show. Mind you, I hate to love Ru. This is coming from somebody who hates the series. And the fact that I'm sitting here defending it, of all things, is sad. You guys are better than this. You aren't big Hollywood. I thought you. I'm guessing there's more to the tweet, but for some reason it's not here. Uh, and this is kind of from Dragnarok. He says, look at this. The length of time to say that's misogynistic. One second. The length of time to say that's old fashioned. One second. It's an easy fix. Even YouTuber Hero Hey also weighed in. He stated, there's all sorts of words or phrases you could have used and you chose not to. What you instantly thought of for that scene was apparently to add misogynist in there. Which, by the way, if you haven't subscribed to Hero, hey, I highly recommend you do. And this is his video right here. What do you make of Holly Sagara's explanation of the change in the dub? Well, I already gave you guys my thoughts on it. I think it's absolute BS. Let me just, I don't think you should see that picture. I think it's absolute BS. I think they just needed a reason to just change it so they can include, um, so they can include dialogue that pushes their own insane agenda, which I, I hate even more than just general basic changes to the original source material. I hate it when they do that, and it, it, it is especially worse when they do it because they're trying to push their own political agenda. I just, I hate that, and it's making me hate these dubbing companies even more. This is why I've decided to just never watch any dub work whatsoever. I'm sorry, I know that there are a lot of people who work on the dub, and I know that a lot of them do not agree with this. I do. But look, I am sorry, I just can't support a production that, that does this. I'm sorry, I just can't. If, you're, if, you, if that doesn't bother you, that's fine. More power to you. But I just can't support this. I'm sorry. I just, I can't. So anyway, that is going to be it. I'm going to end this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And again, as always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And also, let me know if you want me, want me to do more videos that cover anime news. Because look, I am an anime fan. And if you want me to do videos that cover topics that deal in the that deal with anime again let me know all of it in the comment section down below thank you so much for watching you guys have been awesome like share subscribe all that good stuff and again check the link in the description box down below if you want to find another way to support me and please join me on my next one bye